cinema Matinee I ain't got 750 to pay You have an asthma attack? <laughs> What's going on with you? <coughs> Terminator. Salvation. Terminator salvation. I know. We have come from the future to save your sins. This particular story takes place in 2018. They have had the robots taking over the world. Most of humanity is gone. This takes us into the post-apocalyptic nuclear war world that John Connor does live in now. He's leading a little small platoon. He's talking to the resistance, but he's still just a soldier. At this point, he needs to meet his father, Carl Reese. So he says, okay, I got to go out and save this kid who, weirdly enough, is my father. Otherwise, I won't be born. It's the whole Terminator time loop of, okay, he's born of Kyle Reese, but he has to send Kyle Reese back. He, he sent back a dick in a box for his mama. We introduced this character named Marcus Wright. All we know about him at the beginning of the movie is that he is on death row and somehow miraculously has woken up into the future. We, we begin to like question whether he's working for the resistance or through some odd way is he working for the machines. If I let you down, you'll kill everyone in this room. I didn't even know your name until two days ago. No. You know what I mean? We've been at war since before either of us even existed. You try killing my mother, Sarah Connor. You kill my father, Kyle Reese. You will not kill me. So uh, this isn't the previous Terminator movies that we've seen before. It is a totally different film. It tried to succeed by two things. Uh, one, by throwing in lots and lots of references to the previous film. Just like, okay, well, remember, this, everybody loves this line. We'll throw it here. Come with me if you want to live. The biggest problem with it is that this is action movie 101 writing. Now, if it wasn't for the fact that in the last reel, all of a sudden they show you all the shit we came there to see, like mm -hmm. what it looks like in the Terminator factory, then I'd almost have to trash the whole film. I mean, to me, this is the problem with doing any movie that's about a war. Don't do that because the war is never interesting. But that last third kicked so much ass, I, I forgive the first two thirds of it. I really like this movie. I think this movie's a lot of fun. I think it has a few flaws to it because this is kind of after the major war. These, this is more like skirmish fighting. Yeah. But every bit of every bit of action in this movie is awesome. They took opportunities. Yeah, McGee is clearly an action director yeah. because there's a lot of it where I thought I might have got bored, but like I'd be on the edge of my seat or just some shit would happen. I'd be like, God damn. Okay, let's let's get over this shit, all right? Yes, Mac G is his name. He's a good director, okay? I mean, and this movie is well directed, especially in the action in the action scenes. They gave us what we want to see, which is robots, which in this movie we get every shape and form of robot. I mean, we get robots that swim, we get robots that turn into motorcycles, we get And these robots yeah. kick the shit out of the Transformers. I was about to say, I was yeah. probably look at that shit and be like, I'm going home, man. <laughs> right. I, I'm he going back to uh, Yeah, yeah I, I'm going back to Cybertron. I can't with this right here, y'all can have it. Now but you've gone too far, <laughs> sir. What was I saying? You're gay, robot. At long sir. last, have you no shame? I think it's a fun movie. I think the problem with the movie, though, is that we're not really rooting for John Connor. John Connor might be just an average soldier in this, but that's the problem. We need to like have this feeling of, oh, that's John Connor. He's in for great things. As intense as Christian Bale is, he's always believable, but. He had one speed throughout the whole thing. Yeah. It was all grim and gruff. Are you telling me that Batman has a problem <laughs> with his voice? Uh, I, I couldn't see that resistance doing a damn thing with him getting on the radio every time, not being able to understand what he's saying. Every time he got on the transistors, like, this is John Connor. This is the Jimmy. You want the Jimmy? Hey. You want the Jimmy? Hey. We've been fighting a long time, and we have all lost so very much. So many loved ones gone. You are not alone. And people I, I, think it through their heads like, what the f*** are we talking about? What did he say? Besides what I just mentioned, the movie doesn't feel like it has a real goal. Even though it's part of a, of a, of a trilogy, those movies should kind of feel, at least for the first one, have some sense of self-containment. I mean, listen, all these movies have dumb things in them, have bad dialogue, and they have bad, uh, the really huge gaping plot holes. I mean, come on. Despite its weak points, and there are some major weak points, it delivered on what we were looking for. I'm gonna give it full price. Even though the effects were fantastic, and a lot of the action scenes kicked ass, at points it just seemed that even with that, it was just kind of going through the motions. I gotta go with a low matinee on this one. Gotta see it on the big screen, because that's sure. how it was made to be seen. It's a full price movie, but it's not a super enthusiastic, oh my God, you have to see this movie now it's not perfect if you got to have 
a great beginning or a great ending, I go with the great ending. So it left me feeling charged up at the end of it. If there's such a thing, I give it a low full price. And the Terminators, I mean, this Arnold Schwarzenegger, I like the Terminators when they look like big skeletons walking around and they look scary in some well, scenes. If I was one of those guys, I would lay my gun down and be like, this. I'm, I'm over. <laughs> yeah. I get a can of WD-40. I'm going to be spit shining. Yes. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Terminator, sir. Nice spit shine for you there. Yeah, there we go. There. Yeah. Come on, man. Don't kill me. I'll suck your d Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> like that'd be the first thing you'd go to the robot be like we don't even we're gonna even ask you for that <laughs> well can, can I do it anyway <laughs>